The Tale of True Friends. Shrew's trap. Now, about those dandelions. Lily Bobtail, you're the best. Aww. <laughs> Hi, Lily. What are you doing? Florence and I were just taking a nature walk. Yes, a nature walk. Great idea. What's that? Oh, this is my very own just-in-time pocket, like yours. You mean just-in-case pocket. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, it's got all kinds of useful stuff in it. Some string, uh, a clothes peg, and uh, this. Big, isn't it? I borrowed it from my dad. Wow. Ooh. Hmm. It uh, might be even better with some glass in it. Uh, here, why don't you use mine? Yours? Are you sure? Of course. Sharing is what true friends do. True friends. Come here, rabbit. Come on. Huh? <laughs> Wake me up and I'll have you for lunch. I didn't mean to wake you. It was an accident. Come back here! That 
was close. It was fun. <laughs> Want to go on an adventure? We're already on one. Look, notice how it's shiny on top, but not on the bottom? Wow! No, I said adventure. Exactly. Today's adventure is a nature walk. A what? Yeah, you know, looking at leaves and trees and bugs. But Mr McGregor's garden is full of radishes right now, just waiting for us to... Hey, Lily, why is it greener around the edges? Because that's where the sunlight touched it. I know that for a fact. <sighs> OK, then. Nature walk it is. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! Oh, that's brilliant! <sighs> <laughs> 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 I don't believe it! Look! What? What is it? A secret tunnel? A hidden cave? <laughs> it's a ladybird that looks just like Florence. <sighs> I'm going to call him Lawrence and I'll carry him everywhere. Just like you do. <laughs> I just wish this nature walk was a little more adventury. Wait for me! Now this looks like fun! Doesn't it? See how quick the minnows are. They must be really hard to catch. Almost as hard as crossing the stream. Watch this. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. someone to share them with. I wonder what Benjamin and Lily are doing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Ah, look where you're going! Rabbits! <gasps> Again! <laughs> rabbits are brave! Rabbits are brave! They sure are! <laughs> Who did that? Peter! Oh no! Help me! Peter, what do we do? We, we need something to shut his mouth! Benjamin, your magnifying glass! But uh, it doesn't have any glass in it! Exactly! Here, Peter, catch! No. Ha! Perfect! Wow, Peter! That was amazing! The way you jumped on Brock's bag and held on like that! You're the best! 
sorry your nature walk didn't go the way you planned. It went better than planned. It was so much fun. And I'm sorry about your radishes. There's plenty more back in Mr Mugaka's garden. Uh, are you saying what I think you're saying? It'd be fun if we did it together. Together? Sounds good to me. Me too. Radish Woohoo! The tale of the falling rock. Hops rocks like a rock hopping rabbit. I'm going to catch you, Peter. Huh. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> wow, nice jump, Peter. Hmm. Tommy Brock. I wonder what he's up to. In my tummy, they're so wriggly. Make way. Ah. <laughs> Told you I'd catch you. <laughs> this time. Your turn, Benjamin. <laughs> Rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave. Yeah! Oh. 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 Did I make it? <laughs> 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 yes, you made it. Well done, uh. Benjamin. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Nobody <gasps> move! <laughs> On second thoughts, move! for a while, my love. But... Uh, I'm hibernating. Sleeping all winter. Oh, come back in the spring. But, Mrs Tiggy... Oh, so sleepy. Now, Peter, be a dear and run along. Oh. No, you don't understand! Oh, Mrs Tiggy Winkle, you have to listen to me! You're in danger! Hello? Tommy 
Brock! She's sure to have something. Tommy, Tommy Brock! Brock. Hmm. There's all his stuff and no sign of that grouchy old badger. Excellent. A ramp and just the right size to deal with that rock. Sacks and boots and rock and fruit. Rusty pins and empty tins. <laughs> I love my stuff, I do. Oh no! Now how am I going to get that ramp? Um... Ah! <laughs> Hey, who did that? Show yourself! <laughs> What's that? Peter Rabbit? Huh, he's got an old metal sheet just like mine. <laughs> Hang on. That is mine! Come back here! Now. Ow! My poor ouchy legs! I'm getting pins and needles! Uh, ow! And now I'm getting pins and needles on my pins and needles! Just need to shake them a teeny weeny little bit! <laughs> no, Benjamin, don't! Oh, oh yeah, my legs feel so much better! Well, huh? that's good! Because you're gonna need them! Run! and I want it back. No, please, without it, that rock will smash into Mrs Tiggywinkle's house. Out of my way, rabbit. Oh, no, Peter's in trouble. Ah, ah. I think we're in trouble too. Ah. It's OK. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. Oh. Oh. Ah. So, <gasps> what are we playing? Rock hopping? Great! Oh, this is fun! No, Nutkin! Don't! <laughs> Short game. <gasps> what should we do next? Uh, please, you don't understand! Get off!
Phew! Wow, Peter, great idea digging that ditch. Mm. It wasn't exactly my plan, but... But you did it! You saved Mrs Tickywinkle! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 I have literally no idea what you're talking about, but I'm going to dance anyway. <laughs> Nice, dear. Oh. Well, could you youngsters please keep the noise down? I'm still hibernating. Leave my beauty sleep, you know. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Mrs. Tiggywinkle. <laughs> well, see you in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> Noisy little rabbits. <laughs> Pluck my spines. <laughs> oh. Showed you, you big silly rock. <laughs> huh? um, Benjamin! Uh, oopsie. Ah. Hey, what's that? Us, but no! Isn't that right, Mr. Fisher? <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> oh, those were the days, Mr. Bouncer. <laughs> oh, and look, look, there we all are. Wow. Hey, that's my dad. That's right, Peter. We were quite a team back then. <sighs> oh, what was it we always used to say, Mr. Fisher? Ah, you mean life? Is one, one big, big adventure. adventure! Let's go! Dad? <gasps> oh, thank you, Benjamin. <laughs> wow, what's that? Ah! <gasps> Anyway, cup of tea, anyone? Wait, what was that? I promised your mother we wouldn't show you. She didn't want you getting any... <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous ideas! No, not the pen! <laughs> What's my dad standing next to? Ah, oh, well, you've seen it now, I suppose. That was my greatest invention. A flying machine. Wow! A flying machine? Brilliant! Did it work? Your father was the pilot for its first ever flight, Peter. But it crash-landed in Mr McGregor's garden. <gasps> what happened? Your father was magnificent, naturally. Mm. Walked away without a scratch. But that flying machine was never seen again. got to be here somewhere. Uh... But, Peter, if that flying machine was still here, we'd have seen it before. I know that for a fact. Mr Bouncer said my dad crash-landed it right after it flew over the wall. Somewhere around here. Nope, not here. Can we go before Mr McGregor puts us in a... <laughs> Bye. <sighs> You're right. I can't see that flying machine anywhere. Oh, well, we tried. We can't see it anywhere because it's underground. Of course, it must have sunk into the mud when it crashed. Benjamin, ready for some digging? Yeah. <coughs> We'd better hurry, Peter. Mr McGregor could come out any second. Benjamin will find it. Trust me. I found something. Oh. It's smaller than I expected. It's a potato. Huh. Oh! <laughs> Where is it? It couldn't have just disappeared. It did crash here a long time ago, Peter. It could be anywhere by now. Look on the bright side. We've still got a potato. Found by me. <laughs> just saying. Wait a second. 
This sign. It looks just like this part of the flying machine. Let me see. Hmm. Aha! Look over there, by the beans. Those look just like these too. Oh, and look, that's the wing. Yes, and there's the middle pole. Yes, great, awesome. Um, I don't get it. Look, Mr McGregor must have found all the parts of the flying machine after it crashed and used them around the garden. It's been here all along, right under our noses. Whoa, ha, ha. Uh, I mean, I thought that's what you meant. I was just checking. All we have to do is put the parts back together. <gasps> Mr McGregor! <sighs> Time to fertilise my bitches. Let's get out of here. <sighs> We're not going yet. This is the best thing we've ever found. We can't just leave it here. Remember what your dad said? Life is one big adventure. Yeah, but... What if this adventure ends with me being put in a pie? Lily and I will get the parts back. Benjamin, you put them together. OK, let's hop to it. Off you go. No time to lose. You best be on your Whoa. way. <laughs> Off you go. Cos you can't afford to fail today. Proceed with care. Think fast and stay away. Oh, yes. And you'll succeed at once. You're trying to do so off you go, and you should know the golden reach is waiting there for you. What? <gasps> A little more to the left. No, right. No, more to the left. Benjamin, there. <sighs> Wow. That looks amazing! Now that's what I call a flying machine. So how does it fly? Hmm, let's see. Uh, <coughs> that doesn't work. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's no use. We'll never get it to work. Never say never. We can do it. Does it flap like a butterfly? No. Does it glide like an eagle? Nope. Hmm. <gasps> Right then. Huh? Oh no! Mr. McGregor's blocked the gate! Huh? And one of our escape tunnels! All the escape tunnels! We're trapped! Whoa! My potato! Phew! <gasps> We've got to make this thing fly now. It's our only way out. Just in case, Pocket. Just in case. Aha! Just what I was looking for. What is it? A sycamore seed pod. Watch. Wow. Look at it go! That sail is the same shape as the seed pod. So if we spin it round fast enough, maybe we can make the flying machine, well, fly! Come on, let's hop to it. Something's missing. We need that handle to push it round. Did you see it anywhere? Uh -uh. Nope. Well, we need something just the right size to fit in here, or we're not going anywhere. I know just the thing. A good rabbit never gives up. Peter? Show yourselves, rabbits! You wee thieves. <laughs> Where did you go, you slippery little? Cheeky rabbit, give that back! Try this on for size. I'll put you in a pie! It's now or never! <gasps> Keep pushing, Peter! Uh, 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 this a 
here. Again! And got it. Couldn't come home empty-handed, could we? Ah, how do those rabbits do I thought we'd agreed never to tell them about that crash. Yes. Oh, I, I suppose Mr. Bouncer may have let slip the tail of the flying machine. Me? I believe you showed them the photograph, Mr. Fisher. All right, there's no sense in arguing about it now. Anyway, I'm sure Peter and his friends aren't up to anything they shouldn't be. But Peter is always up to something, isn't he, Mopsy? Always, Flopsy. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't believe it! You found it! Of course we did! Nice of you to drop in, Peter. Uh, sorry if we made you jump. It's easier to fly than it is to land. Do you know what this means? Now we can all go on flying trips wherever we want! Think of the exploration! Oh, I'd love to visit the far side of the lake again. Excellent fishing over there, you know. Now, now, let's not get too excited, gentlemen. I'm happy that they found the flying machine, but the sky is no place for a rabbit. Isn't that right, Peter? Peter? Peter Rabbit. Just like your father. Peter! No! Enough to get me over my fear of heights. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Too tight? No, that's just fine. I wonder what's over that hill. Only one way to find out. What do you say then? One more time? Life is one big adventure! adventure.